Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the Vend backend setup. So when you are setting up your Vend for the first time, some some of the first steps that you're going to want to take. So when we log into Vend, the first thing we're going to do is click the Pages tab, and we have two tabs right here under the Pages tab. One is Contact, and one is Splash. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the Contact page, and the reason for this is we want to make sure you we get your email address in there so that you could actually start accepting orders. If you don't put the email address in there you're not going to be able to accept orders so the first thing that you're going to do is fill out the title for your contact page and this title is going to appear in the browser uh, at the top of the browser so you can have it say contact us you can have it say contact you know the company name but go ahead and fill out the title the description that you type in here is actually going to show up when somebody clicks on this mail icon down here uh, I'm going to go ahead and click it and show you the pop-up that comes up and it's going to be this text right here. So you're going to want to fill that out as somewhat of a message. You're also going to notice that you can add your website URL and this website URL is what is going to happen uh, when you click the Vend logo which will be your logo. Uh, it can take them to your website. We have all of our logos that allow you to click and, and go somewhere. So um, when you're looking to contact the photographer, you might see the logo, click on it, it'll take you to wherever you guys specify. So you're going to do that right in this area. Your phone number and your physical address is going to go on the invoice. So you're going to want to go ahead and put those in, fill those in here. And then your email address. Go ahead and put your email address and you can just put uh, in the second field who it's coming from so um, some people like to put the company name some people like to put their specific name uh, so whatever is appropriate there and then the server outgoing email most of you can leave it blank unless you have like a Yahoo email I, I think that might be one of the only ones where you actually have to have the server email that they offer um, that's different from your normal email address so most of you could just leave that blank unless you know it should be different and then um, you have four s all emails sent as outgoing server emails. Uh, we have that marked as false. So once you have that filled out, go ahead and click save. And now let's talk about the splash page. So the splash page is this uh, gallery wall that we have set up right now. And I'm going to click OK. And you can see in here that these are the sets that people can click on to actually view and you have a couple of different options uh, so let's go ahead and go back to that tab and the first one is uh, the welcome the welcome and the uh, the welcome title and the welcome description so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this and you're gonna see when somebody gets there they can have you can have this welcome text set up so that it says welcome to my photo cart or whatever it is that you wanna say um, some some people have different messages and if you don't want this at all just don't put anything in here. Um, but I think it's kind of nice to have a little welcome before somebody actually clicks through. The next thing that you can choose is whether you're going to have um, the gallery wall or more a traditional login uh, for your, so your splash page view. And I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But right now we have it selected as the gallery wall. And then these options underneath that correspond to the gallery wall settings. So you have two options. Auto hide the expired sets and hide image counts. And I'm going to show you where those are. So you'll see right here the image count. Now some people like to show how many images are in each set and some people don't like to show it. So you can hide this image count by clicking um, true to hide the image count. And then if you scroll down you're going to see that we have all of our expired galleries in here as well. So it shows that these are expired uh, by the, the different color and it shows the date that they expired and these were set to never expire. You can hide that if you like um, where it says auto hide expired sets you can go ahead and click true and then you could go ahead and on this gallery wall sorting you could decide how you want those sets to actually be sorted and you'll also notice that when you're setting up a set um, you could pin it to the gallery wall at the top to make sure that it's always at the top and that's what we've done with our demo uh, so if you come up here, these are these are pinned at the top so that we always have them up there and you guys can find them pretty easily. So if you have a new client that you know is going to be wanting to see something or come back to see something and they can't find it, you can pin it to the top for them. And then um, let's talk a little bit about what your other option is. So if you don't have the gallery wall, you can actually have a more traditional login. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and hit save. 
and if we come back here and we refresh you're gonna see that that whole gallery wall is gone and you're gonna have again more a traditional login so you'd, you'd, you'd be asking your clients to fill in the gallery ID and the gallery ID can come from the set so you'll see the set ID right here and they'd fill out that gallery ID and then they'd be able to move on to their set. I actually think it's a, a lot easier and uh, a little bit more straightforward for people to come in here and just use the gallery wall. I think it's I think it's more acceptable and uh, it's going to be easier for your clients. So that's my recommendation to do that. Um, so that is the general understanding of how to set up your contact page and your gallery wall. And I hope that was informative. And we're going to be putting out other videos uh, based on the different parts of this back end. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us through the support or go to intothedarkroom.com. And uh, we appreciate you listening to the video. Thanks again.